What got you into social housing? So uh, when I was 10 years old, Nisa, uh, my parents allowed me to stay up on a school night one Wednesday evening and I saw the film Kathy Come Home, the Ken Loach Wednesday play on BBC One. And um, I just decided that's what I wanted to do. And so I spent some time fundraising for shelter. Um, I, as soon as I went to university, uh, I set up a housing advice centre in York. Uh, a friend and I did that. And so by the time I left, um, I knew that I wanted to work in housing. And I met up with a guy who ran Leeds Housing Advice Centre, a chap called Sandy Patterson. And uh, he ran me through the pros and cons of going to work for a housing association or going to work for a local authority. And what he said was, housing associations are more flexible. You have more fun there. And he was right. <laughs> So it sounds like Kathy Come Home and Sandy had a real influence in you coming into social housing. Are these the things that still inspire you today? Yeah, absolutely. Um, those, um, you never forget things like that. You don't forget things like that. You don't forget people who help you when you're at a crossroads, when you're in a formative stage in your life. Um, and that feeling that uh, I got, you know, as a 10 year old watching, watching Cathy come home. And we, re we reprised it in the, um, in the local cinema here, in the showroom cinema. Uh, we put that on again a couple of years ago. And at the time, my eight year old daughter came along. And um, the final scene, she burst into floods of tears as the, as the child is taken away from the mother. And it was absolutely that gut wrenching, how can this possibly happen? Um, I'm even feeling emotional now as I'm talking to you, Nisa, about it. Um, how, can that, how can that be allowed to happen? I want to do something to stop that. So yeah, yeah, those, uh, those motivations, um, that inspiration, those feelings are absolutely with me today.